Okay, good morning. We are back and we are doing 6.3, ready, set, go, number eight. And the directions for this one are all the way up here. It says, for each pair of points, draw a, draw a line of reflection needed to reflect P onto P prime, and then find the equation of the line of reflection. Okay, so when you do this, <clears throat> things that you have to know about reflection. So let's make a little list. First thing is, we know that the line of reflection, so the line of reflection is perpendicular to um, the line <clears throat> connecting the corresponding points. What does that mean, Ms. Johnson? Okay. So um, the first thing, so um, the very first thing that I want to remind you of is perpendicular in terms of um, on, a, on a coordinate plane means opposite reciprocal slope meaning one of your slopes um, could be like two thirds and the perpendicular slope. So I'm gonna make a little perpendicular symbol there. So opposite means if one's positive, the other one's negative. Reciprocal means that the fraction is gonna do a handstand. So the top's gonna be the bottom or the bottom's gonna be top. Or um, the denominator is the numerator and the numerator is now the denominator. So this is, those are key parts, okay? So I need to find a line that somewhere is sitting, so it's the mirror between P and P prime. Now, if you say, oh, Ms. Johnson, this is where the mirror goes. No, no way. Because if you were looking at yourself in the mirror and all of a sudden your reflection's all the way down there or up there or to the right, You'd be like, what the heck is happening? It must be a funny mirror, right? So we're not dealing with funny mirrors. We're dealing with regular. So we just need a reflection point. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the slope between P, P prime. So I'm going to connect the points P, P prime like this. So this is the line connecting the P, P prime. And it happens to go through the origin, which is kind of neat. Okay, so I'm going to count to my slope and I'm going to go, how much do I need to go up versus how much do I need to go over to get there? So I go up four, which is positive, and I go left five, ten, left ten. So my slope of this guy is four over negative ten which you can think of, you can leave it alone, you can simplify it, it really doesn't matter. Um, I will simplify because that's just my practice. It's negative two fifths. That means my perpendicular slope to this, my perpendicular slope to this is going to be since that guy's negative, now he's positive. Since this guy's two over five, now he's five over two. That's what opposite reciprocal means. It means it's the opposite of it, and then it's a handstand of it. Now, that's the slope. And it told me to find the equation of the line. So whenever you're writing the equation of the line, you go y equals mx plus b. So obviously, this 5 halves here is going to go right here. And then the y is going to be the same. The x is going to be the same. The only thing I need to find is my b. Now. If you can think about a, a line that has a slope of five halves, you you also need the slope intercept, your intercept. But where should this be placed? Right? So this should be placed kind of in the middle, not kind of in the middle, but in the middle. Right? Yes, ma'am. So we need to find our middle. So it looks like our middle is zero. And I'm just going to count to make sure that that's our middle. The way I count is I notice that I'm counting up to a left five and I get to zero. And that should mean I should count the same distance up to left five to get to our other P, which so that's our middle. So here, 
plus zero is gonna be our y-intercept. So if you can, here is our here is our perpendicular line to it. So it would be five up five right two down five left two. If I can make a good line through there, ah, that's pretty good. There's our mirror. So this is our reflection line for those two points to be reflected. Okay, so things that you need to remember for your reflection. So here they are, ready? Number one, the reflection line is perpendicular to the line that's of the correspond connecting the corresponding points. So if those two lines aren't perpendicular, you don't have a correct line of reflection. Okay. Number two is that it has to be on the midpoint. It has to be on the midpoint. So there's a special name for this. We call this, um, the line of the reflection is the, oops, I forgot to write the word in, perpendicular bisector to the line, or and then this is now the segment, to the segment containing the corresponding points. So basically I'm saying this part is congruent to this part. If you remember those little tick marks mean that those two parts are congruent. If you didn't know that, now you do. Okay. So again, when you're trying to find the line of reflection, number one, you got to find the slope. And number two, you got to find the midpoint. Thanks for listening.